Disclaimer, these videos are meant to be a brief overview of the subject. They are written to meet time constraints while still conveying factual historical information. My sources for each video are in the video summary below and can get you started on a more in-depth look at the subject. On a personal note, if there is a way to mispronounce the name, I will do it. It is a gift and I am sorry about it ahead of time. Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Clark's Mill, located in Douglas County, Missouri, on November 7th, 1862. The area around Clark's Mill had been reporting sightings of bushwhackers. These were small groups of independent fighters and raiders that were not necessarily part of the Union or Confederate lines. They generally fought for food and loot and would take these from civilians and soldiers of both sides. To combat this, U.S. Captain Hiram E. Barstow and his troop of 100 men of the Company C of the 10th Illinois Cavalry was stationed here. Not long after arriving, Captain Barstow received reports of Confederate Colonel John Q. Burbridge and his cavalry brigade of about 1,750 men. Barstow immediately ordered his company of 100 men out of Clark's Mill the next morning to scout out the Confederate forces. The initial skirmish resulted in the Confederate advance guard being driven back. Barstow then moved his men to the blockhouse, realizing he was going to be outnumbered more than 17 to 1. The Confederates, realizing how much they outnumbered the Union troops, immediately pressed back and approached the blockhouse from the northeast. They eventually surrounded the fort, and after five hours of fighting, U.S. Captain Bartow surrendered his men. Confederate Colonel Burbridge burned a fort and paroled the Union soldiers, releasing them as prisoners, and then he left. Estimated casualties were nine Union soldiers killed, 37 wounded, while there were no Confederate soldiers reported killed, wounded, or missing. Please join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.